Hi, I'm KB with Nerdifiles. How are you both? Hello. Great. How are you? Nice to see you. Doing well, doing well. Um, this season is spectacular. I mean, truly, truly amazing. So I'll start with you uh, first, Nichelle. You know, can you talk a little bit about the evolution of Poppy over the past three seasons and how this particular case in season three really expands and changes her as a woman and as an investigative reporter? Well, you know, when I pitched the show, the biggest thing about this project was that the biggest mystery overall is who is Poppy Parnell. And that's the onion that we continue to unpeel each season. And Maisha picked up the ball beautifully in season three because we were now allowed to really get into Poppy because the mystery and the family collided into one story that was allowed us to go behind the curtain yet again. And so one of the big things you find out this season is, I'm not gonna spoil it, is part of the who that we try to answer from episode one, season one. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that the layers that have been built, uh, particularly in this season, are so incredible to watch how they are unwoven, for lack of a better phrase, uh, over the course of the episodes. So for you, Maisha, can you talk about how deeply important it really was um, this season in particular to tell the story of missing Black girls um, just kind of in this day and age and really shed a light on how, you know, kind of white victims are given the time, attention, and resources while the girls in our community, you know, really, really aren't when it comes to these types of cases. Um, it was incredibly important, not just because we see it as black people, as black women, um, but because it's ongoing and, and Oakland is really a hub. This, this is a pandemic, you know, in, in Oakland. So we wanted to be authentic to what's actually happening right now. Um, and I, I felt like for Poppy, you know, she says several times she had things gone a different way for her. She could have been one of those girls, you know, so I felt like it was really important to tell this story because it also helps us see who Poppy is, like Nichelle was saying. Um, so, yeah, for me, this this season, um, Although Nichelle pitched it and Apple loved it, it was just so exhilarating to, to execute. Well, let me tell you, I think that like, you know, it's done so beautifully in a way where obviously these stories need to be told and they're very, actually quite hard, um, you know, to, to grasp. But I do think that you guys did it in such a way that um, it not only woven Poppy's kind of personal stories, um, but the stories of so many young girls, unfortunately, um, particularly to the area of Oakland. And so I'm really glad that you spoke to that because I, I actually spend a lot of time in Atlanta and there are similar cases in that city as well. And so I was curious um, as to why you guys picked Oakland specifically. But um, my final question for both of you really is just how has working on this show and being able to craft such nuanced and, and lovely stories, how has that kind of enriched and enhanced your experience in this business? Um, and I'll start with you, Nichelle. You know, it was the support from Apple. Uh, Truth Be Told was the first show to roll camera for Apple season one. And so it was a learning process for everybody. And in that learning process, there was this huge collaboration and everybody had the same goal to do the best that we can. So the freedom and the support was amazing. And that's how we were able to get a beautiful season one, beautiful season two, and the support for a really, really fantastic season three. And I'll say the, yes, the the cast really did it for me. I mean, Octavia is just amazing to work with and she just renews your faith in the <laughs> business. You know, I really loved working with her and Makai was great. Merle was great. So we, we, um, we really had a lot of fun despite sort of the darker subject matter. And uh, that, that made this season for me just amazing. Well, brilliant season and fantastic job. And just thank you both so much for taking the time to chat with Nerdifiles. Really appreciate it.